Hey guys, here I am again with another Bath and Body Works video. So today I just wanted to share with you what I bought for the $3.95 soap cell. Um, as I probably mentioned at the end of the last video, uh, I have now started to shop Bath and Body Works only with at least a coupon. I would like for a sale and, and a coupon to be able to use um, together. So that's what happened with this Bath and Body Works sale. I had a 20% uh, 20 off coupon and then they had the $3.95 soap sale. So I just wanted to share with you what I got during their soap sale. They do have the new spring soaps out. And if I remember properly, I think I got all foaming um, hand soaps. I know I said in the last video, they tend to just be cleaner when you use them. Um, so that's the reason why I tend to get the um, foaming soap. So um, they didn't have the paper bag, so I got them in the plastic bags today, but they tied them with this cute little Bath and Body Works ribbon, um, both bags together. So let's just go through what I picked up from there uh, this weekend and during the sale. The first soap is, and a lot of these soaps, I try to step out of my comfort zone and get something a little bit different or something I haven't used before. So um, we're going to see if we like any of these. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the tops off to smell them because I put lotion on. So it's making everything harder to take off. So here we go with the first one. This is Glacier Mist. Looks like that. Very manly looking soap, but very pretty. It's going to go nice in the bathroom. The notes on this one is cool eucalyptus, watery freesia, and lavender. So if if I can get the tops off of these, I'll take a little sit, smell and then let you know if I think it's, you know, good or not so good. I have a feeling this one's going to be a little bit on the manlier side. And no, it actually smells like just fresh air. Um, that one smells really, really good. Uh, glacier mess. And I, like I said, a lot of these soaps I haven't tried before. So we're just gonna see how it works out. But I think that one's gonna be a good one. It just smells fresh, like very clean um, scent. Uh, the next one is white t-shirt. Now I don't know if this is how this is coming off on camera, but it is in a muted gray bottle. I don't feel like it's coming off as that color, but a very clean look, um, not too much of a design on that one. And the notes are crisp pear, lavender cloud, whatever that smells like, and soft sandalwood. And anytime I see lavender, I'm normally I'm going to pick it up because I just love the way lavender smells. I wish Bath and Body Works would bring back the lavender and chamomile um, aromatherapy. I don't understand why they keep taking it away, but um, it was gone. It was back two years ago, then gone for a period of time. Then it came back last year and now it's gone again. So hopefully they bring it back. Cause I used to like their cocoa, shea and honey um, line. And yeah, that's been gone for a while now. So they never did bring that one back. So this one, I feel like everything just smells the same. It smells very fresh. Um, yeah, it doesn't stink. It just smells fresh. So maybe that's, I mean, I guess that makes sense. It is called white t-shirt. And isn't your white t-shirt supposed to smell fresh? But um, yes, it, it smells really good. Like I said, these are all foaming um, soaps. And they're all ones that I haven't had before. Uh, because I just wanted to do something for a change. So most of the times when I ever do that, it never works out right. But these don't, these don't smell bad. So the next one is Lavender Velveteer. I guess a vel, vel, vetiver, vetiver, vetiver. I don't know if you guys can say that, see that, but I think that's how you pronounce that vetiver. Anyway, the notes on that one is wild lavender, warm vetiver, and creamy sandalwood. Like I said, anything that has lavender in it, I'm probably going to pick it up. So let's see what this smells like. smell bad it's not something i'm like oh it smells really really good um but we'll use it uh that's that one and it's really pretty i don't know if it's coming off on camera for this either but um it's like a very very light lilac lavender color it's really pretty in this uh transparent bottle so that's really really nice i like that um really pretty bottle and i don't think it smells bad it just it's like it's not something that just really stands out to me, but like I said, we'll use it. Uh, prices on these are running $8.95 now. 
Bathroom Body Works, come on. Like, this is why you need a sale. $3.95 plus 20% off. I think these ran me like $3.16 a piece. Now, you know it. Good and darn well, most people aren't going to spend $9 on this soap. Y'all, come on. It's going to get to the point where people are going to stop shopping here. Um, because you're pricing yourself. You're, you're pricing the majority of your customers out. This is crazy, especially when you can go get a Dove soap from Walmart and it'd be half the price. Come on, Bath & Body Works. We got to get it together. I know y'all come in these cute little containers and these cute little bottles, but nine dollars for a soap now that's not cool um anywho velvet and elderberry that's the next one this is a really pretty bottle um very um much like the white t-shirt as you can see um I, I think a lot of people will call this plain but to me it's just a very clean look um uh, maybe that's what we pay paying for is these bottles because listen um velvet elderberry is white ripe elderberry raspberries and sweet musk another I'm a stickler for musk, so if I see musk, lavender, or jasmine, I'm more than likely going to pick it up. But let's see what this one smells like. Oh, that's good. That's, what's that smell like? I don't know, but it's, it has a sweet smell to it. And I'm guessing that is the raspberry. I don't know what an elderberry normally smells like. But it has a very sweet smell to it on this one. This is this is so pretty. Um, definitely more of like a spring scent. Uh, so this will be going towards more towards the back of the stash. Um, where I would use something like a glacier mist like now during the winter time. A white t-shirt more towards the back of the stash. So I try to use them um, so that they kind of align with the season. I know I'm probably weird but uh, I wouldn't pull a bronze sunset out right now or a firecracker pop in the middle of winter. I don't know. I just, I like for things to match. So, um, we got one more bag of soaps. And the next one that we got is Sunny Lemon Orchard. Look how pretty that bottle is. That's so pretty. Once again, looks a lot like the Lavender vet Vetiver. What the heck is a Vetiver? I'm going to have to look that up. Lavender vetiver. If I look it up and I remember, I'll put the definition on the screen because I don't know what a vetiver is. Um, but this sunny lemon orchard, um, I like kitchen lemon, so I'm hoping it smells kind of like that. Um, notes on that is golden lemon blossom, spring jasmine, and cedar. Cedar and lemon? I don't know. Let's see. I think cedar, I think woodsy, and then you have like lemon, lemon woods. I don't know. Oh yeah, that smells good. Now see, that's the thing. So like I smell that and I'm like, that smells good. And then I smell this and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that smells good. But this, if it's very sweet. Um, so it has a lot of lemon in it. And I'm not gonna lie, and this might turn people off, but it's given it's given it's given living lemon pine salt vibes. Okay, maybe not so much pine salt, but it reminds me of that cleanliness uh, that you um, get from using like pine salt. That smells so good. This probably is my favorite thus far. This one right here. Yeah, yeah. This one's good. Go get this one. Um, not for eight ninety five though. Wait until they have a sale. Um, by the time I get this uploaded, I'm pretty sure the three ninety five sale is going to be over. But Bath and Body Works is notorious for having these sales. So wait until the next one. Hopefully you'll have a coupon to use with it um, because I would never pay full price for these soaps. Not, not happening. So this is their new line, um, Among the Clouds. And when I went in to pick up this order tonight, she did spray some on like, you know, like their little sampler cards for me to smell. And I was like, okay, that's not too bad. I wouldn't buy it in, a, in the body care, but as far as like maybe like a, a candle or the soap, maybe even the hand um, soap, like the little containers of hand soap, I could probably get away with that. But that's Among the Clouds. Looks just like that. Really pretty. Has all those different pretty spring pastel colors on it. So this will go more towards the back of the stash, like I was saying before. 
notes on this is wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clouds. They're getting really fancy with their notes. Because anybody has who smelled a whipped vanilla cloud before? Not I, Popeye. And watch me not be able to get this off. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's it's very it smells very sweet. It smells very um it's gonna sound weird, but it smells cute. <laughs> it's a cute smell. Sweet. Definitely smell the berries in it. Yeah, I can see why people would probably want this in body care. Uh, I, I I just think it would be, if I had it on, it would be too young smelling. Like I, as a 40 some year old woman, I couldn't get away with wearing this, but I would get it for my daughters. I think, I think it would smell really good on them. Um, but it smells good for hand soap. Like I could definitely get down with that, but not watch the winter time. So that'll go for one of our spring soaps. And then plus look at it. Like it looks like a spring soap. Like who wants to use this right now? So. Let's go on to the next one, Moon Flower Petals. And there's that right there, really pretty. Um, I don't know what that flower is. Maybe the note will tell me what that is. Um, but I don't know if it's coming off the camera, but you can see or it looks like an ir iridescent, like almost like a pearl colored bottle. I think this is what we are paying for, y'all. This is why it's, oh, this one's $7.95. <laughs> so what's the difference? $7.95. This one's $7.95. This one's $8.95. So we have to be paying for these bottles. That's what the price is, the price difference is. Listen, you could put this in this. I don't have to have all this because it's going in a soap holder anyway. Anywho, the uh, notes on this one is sparkling bergamot, moonlit bouquet, and warm musk. Whatever a moonlit bouquet is, but... Um, Let's see what this smells like. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, it smells good. Very floral. Mm hmm Yep. 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 That one's a good one. So I would say that would cut, like, for what I've showed you so far, um, this is probably, like, more like second place. Uh, this is still beating out everybody, this lemon scent. It just smells so fresh. But this one's a good one. And the bottle is really, really pretty. Um can see that like little purplish pink tint that's coming off on that but yeah i like it that one smells really good all right ladies last one uh like this was definitely stepping out of my comfort zone i messed up one time and i bought one that was called sedona sands smelled so bad it smelled so bad and i had already started using it and you know me i don't like if i start using it i'm not taking it back it's just not um Except for that one nasty candle. <laughs> I think, what was it? Twas the night before Christmas? Uh-uh. Smell like popcorn feet. Nope. Not going to do it. So here is Terracotta Canyon. There's that one. Really pretty. Love the color. Definitely a terracotta, terracotta uh -huh. colored soap. Um, so that one looks really, really nice. So let's see what it smells like. If I can get it open. I don't really smell much of anything on that one. I mean, it smells okay. Um, it doesn't stink, but it, does, it has a very, very light scent. Sometimes I feel like you have to actually use it on your hands and kind of like uh, once the heat from your hand warms it up, the heat from the the water warms up. You can really smell what things um, like their true smell is. But the notes on this one is golden amber, desert jasmine, and warm sandalwood. I'm telling you, the jasmine, the musk, and lavender are going to get me every single time. So I see it, I'm like, oh, jasmine, love jasmine. Oh, lavender, love out. And I pick it up, and I'm like, mm, I don't know, it's okay. But I don't think it's going to be like a Sedona Sands. That one would just, it just did not smell good. So um, I think it ended up going in the basement, like the basement slop sink. <laughs> It got so demoted. Um, I just, I couldn't. It was hard to use. So, but you, if I if I pay for it, I got to use it. So, but that's Terracotta Canyon. So that was my little haul. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight soaps. I'm going to say they were like $3 and some change, maybe $3.15 three, to three seventeen. dollars So um, I did buy online, pick up in store. Um, so I didn't have to pay for shipping. So it ran me about $24. 25 um, and some change so not too bad um, we'll have these for quite some time and over at least the net finish out winter and into spring
And by the time spring comes and you know their summer stuff will be released, we'll see what kind of sales and coupons they have. That'll depend on if I purchase them or not because uh, like I stated in my last video, they have literally priced themselves out of my market, especially for regular price items. So, but that's gonna be that guys. Thank you so much for stopping by, watching my little haul. Um, like I said, I think I'm gonna start um, looking at more items that you could buy from Walmart. Maybe the new Dove items, the new Olay items, maybe new Caress items. Start looking at Bed Bath & Beyond candles. I know they have a store brand candle there. Um, and also the Woodwick that I described before. So I think we're gonna start venturing out. Um, also, I know a lot of people have been trying out the Goose Creek candles. And who knows, maybe I'll pick up a couple of Yankee candles because at this point, that's where Bath & Body Works is priced at now. So, and at least I know Yankee is good for having a sale also. So, but thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully it won't be too, too long before I upload again. So, um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.